So in this online tutorial, I'll be telling you exactly how you can copy trade with eToro. Here I'm signed into my virtual portfolio where I use it to experiment on many different traders and sometimes I use it to copy trade. So I'm going to be showing you exactly how we can do this. So let's jump right in. Now, let me quickly break down how exactly copy trading works before we go back into my account. So essentially with copy trading, it's a three step process. Number one is choosing your trader. So you can choose someone who has a specific type of trading style. Maybe they trade aggressively. Maybe they trade reluctantly maybe they're more risk averse someone who doesn't take on too much risk then you just simply set your amount so choose how much choose how much money you want to make and essentially how much exposure you want to that particular trader and then you simply hit copy and all your positions will be copied by that exact trader so let's go into exactly how this works so when you're on the real page of eToro what you want to go ahead to do is you want to go to the watch list now on the watch list you'll then go over to the right hand side where you see this tab that says people so let's go over here and if we click people, you can see that there are some people right here. Now we can go ahead and copy these people or we can go ahead and discover some people. So one of the things that you can do right here is see the return. Now the one M right here that you can see on this little box is one month. So if we click this again, you can see their three month return. This is their month return over three months. And if we click that again, we can see their six month return. And then again, if we can see their one month return. Now, like I stated before, you can also see their risk score. So you can see right here, this is a risk score of four, this is a risk score of one, and there's a risk score of five. Now it goes up and down. So with someone with a risk score of one is going to be someone with a very, very low risk score. And someone with a risk score of eight is going to be someone with a high, high risk score. But of course, as you know, high risk, high reward. So if we click discover people, you right here, you can see that we have the most copied people. Now, essentially the reason this is kind of good because it shows you who everyone in the market is copying. So up here as well, you can change your different tabs. So you can see right here, gained at least 10% during the last 12 months and then you can filter it. So for example, if I wanted to find a trader who has gained, let's say they've gained 5%, I could change this and I could click go and you could see exactly who's gained how much in x examples number of markets so if we go back you can see right here i could be like okay who's done well in the last six months and who's gained 10 percent in the last six months in for example and this is where stuff gets really interesting you can actually change it to cryptos commodities indices stocks and etfs so if we want what i could do is i could go ahead and i could be like okay since i'm mainly a crypto youtuber i could go ahead and be like okay who's gained 10 percent at least in the last six percent now i've done very well in crypto as you can see from my portfolio but um, we can see right here that these people are doing very well. Now, what's also interesting is that you can see the amount of copiers change. Now, the reason this tab is very interesting is because this is where you get some really good data. Now, the reason you want to look at the copiers change data is because what you'll find here is you'll find out if people have been losing copiers. So if people lose copiers, this is usually a bad sign. It usually means that people are potentially leaving this person because maybe they've made a few bad trades and maybe they've lost some money. Now, of course, you can see that some people have gained, some people have lost. Um, so let's say, for example, we wanted to go ahead and find someone. Uh, we can see right here that this person has 17 copiers. So we can go ahead and click this count and we can see exactly how much they've made in the last couple of months. So you can see January, they made 13%, February 0.13 and March a 2%. So they haven't really lost. But what's also cool is you can go ahead and check out their 2022 performance. Now, remember, this is someone that invests in cryptocurrency. So we can see that, of course, in 2022, cryptocurrency wasn't exactly a positive year. So of course, it's up to you. Now, if we go back to this area, we can go back and we can see once again on the watch list, on the people, and then we can click discover people. Now, of course, you can choose someone based on the kind of risk tolerance you want. Of course, for example, you might want to choose someone with insane returns like this person, but something that you do need to understand when you're investing and you follow someone, returns like this aren't really typical. It is very unlikely that someone is able to going to be consistently pulling off that return. Now, I'm not someone that's just hating on this person. I'm just saying that it is very, very hard for you to continually pull off that return. Essentially, what you need to understand, okay, is that when you see a 100% return in the last two years, you can't jump at the gun and think, oh my God, 100% a year? that's crazy that's not how it works okay this is essentially just like an average so sometimes some months you're gonna have good months and other months you're gonna have pretty bad months okay so you can see right here minus 19 percent but plus 120 percent so like i said some years are gonna be good some years are going to be bad that's why i said it's an average over the last you know essentially duration so don't just think that because one person is doing well one month that they're not going to do 
bad the next month because you can see right here this person did 9.6.4 percent in january and then of course in march they pretty much erased a lot more gains which is of course not good so when you're evaluating who you want to follow i would say that you want to do this very very i guess you could say quickly okay now no i would actually say that you definitely want to take your time with this because it isn't just something where you can just set your money and completely forget you definitely want to pick something that is you know i guess you could say very very long term so for example you can see right here when we scroll down you can see long term stock investors now if you're someone like me and you don't like losing money remember the aim of the game if you're putting money into an investment vehicle is to not lose money make sure that you choose someone with a low low risk now of course there are people that are you know very diversified with a high risk level but i would say go look at someone who's very very low risk and see exactly how well that they've done now of course you can see right here the risk score so if you want to just find people that are low risk you can just click here and of course you can see for a one is the lowest possible risk 10 is the highest possible risk you can just type in low risk and click apply and then you can simply find people now of course there's many different ways to do this i'm not sure why it's only showing me this one person but a low risk doesn't just ensure a low loss so yeah it's definitely very very interesting now of course if you want to actually copy someone you just click the copy button and then of course you just click that right there and you just click copy trades and it's honestly that simple so if i click invest you can see in my portfolio it just says a pending order and essentially you're now copying this person's moves with $1,500 or whatever. Um, and then it's just going to do absolutely everything. So you can see right here, it opens up this entire portfolio. And essentially, when he makes his moves, my moves are going to be completely copied like that. I guess it's kind of like this person managing their head front. Now, if you want to stop using this, you can click remove cash, which is where you can remove certain amounts. Then, of course, you can click invest more where you want to add more to that potential pie. Then, of course, what you can additionally do is you can adjust the stop loss. So maybe you don't want to lose a certain amount. Maybe you want to view charts on what he's doing, or maybe you want to just pause it for the time being. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just, you know, click uh, remove cash because, of course, I don't want to do this. In fact, I'm just going to click stop copying. So I'm going to close all because of course I don't want to do that so I'm no longer copying him and now I am back so essentially it's really that simple if you want to start copying people now I do think that potentially they may have removed some people because when I did click here before I'm pretty sure there were a lot more people but you can definitely follow anyone as long as you have a profile so it's definitely really cool and if you scroll down you're definitely going to see some crazy crazy people now when you're looking down the list you can definitely click these and you can see exactly how many people are copying them and exactly what their kinds of trades are you can see uh, the weekly drawdown and exactly how much they've lost you can see their risk so you can do right here click this one and then you'll see exactly the lowest if you click here it will switch it to see and show you exactly how many people are copying this person so this person is fairly popular with 6,000 people copying them, Green Bull Invest. Um, and over the last 2022, they did uh, pretty interesting. Uh, I guess I guess the total was minus 19%. And in 2021, they did 25%. And so far, they've done 7.5%. So definitely very interesting. As you guys can see, their copy value is uh, 5 million. And it's, yeah, it's, it's really, really interesting. You know, you can see their profit allocation. Definitely very, very simple to do. And it shows you exactly how much they trade per week. So if this is something that you do want, maybe you're someone who wants, I guess you could say, you want to go to the watch list and maybe you want someone who's more aggressive you could just simply go and discover and then you could go on you know view all so let's say the most copied let's say we go on the most copied one view all and let's say we do the risk score which is higher so we can now see that someone's risk score is like this we could go someone who's going to be using a more aggressive strategy or we could go based on the return and of course you can see right here this these are the people that have the biggest return okay but remember like i said usually after big returns it's usually not consistent what happens is you know someone will get a 200 percent pump or whatever and then over the next couple of months they may lose a small amount and it just kind of evens out okay and that's not me just saying that that's just the nature of the game so um yeah definitely very interesting you can see this person's um made i guess i guess he hasn't made a, a yearly loss yet so you know you can go copy him um definitely many different ways to do this you can see exactly what they're going on um you can see their frequently trades how how, how much they win per trade um and yeah let me know if you do copy someone if you want to copy people how you're going to be doing it uh, how much you're going to be investing i think it's definitely a really nice way to make a bit of passive income especially if you're someone that doesn't know how to trade and you want to just trade but remember with anything that you do trade with it you have to understand that there is ability to lose money so be careful out there um, definitely do your due diligence definitely look uh, around a lot i would say you know look around a lot see if these people have other profiles because essentially what happens as well which is really cool let's say for example if we go to someone who's really popular what they'll have is they'll have a community um, and they'll post their trading strategy so they'll be like hello traders yada 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 we're up this much this is my strategy yada 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 this is what i'm going to do um so yeah 
definitely look at people like this and don't just follow someone random just because they're doing very, very well. They might just hit a home run and you never know exactly what's going to happen. So I would say go ahead, look at someone who's, you know, well-established, long-term trading, consistent profits, um, and you can copy them, guys. And this is honestly pretty legit. So with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, I guess we'll see you in the next one.